Hey, Jojo, um, just curious, short week, what's the mindset? How do you guys flush Saturday's Illinois game quickly, knowing that obviously that's not what anybody wanted around there? Right, we got to be constructive about um, what went on on Saturday and then just turn the page, move on to the next, the next game. Um, these weeks go by fast, so capitalizing on every day, preparing the best of our ability every day is going to put us in the best position to succeed on Friday. Joe Digit. Hey, Joe, Joe, I'm wondering uh, with a short week, is that almost a blessing in this situation, an opportunity to get back out on the field just that much quicker off of a frustrating performance? Yeah, every game's a blessing. I think we all saw firsthand on Saturday how precious this game really is with Colin Miller and what went on there. So um, regardless of a short, long week, um, we're excited to get back out on the field. Ron Christofferson. Hey, JoJo, you're a guy who kind of had to wait your turn through some injuries and stuff early in your career until you became an every down player. What's your message to younger guys, I guess, as they're going through this and maybe frustrated by the, the process and losing early on? It's tough. It's not easy. Um, but adversity, adversity sharpens men. Adversity makes men. And just because it's not going the way you – envisioned it going doesn't mean that it's not for you or it's not still there for you to take so just stick the course continue to be hypercritical of how you can how you can get better how you can prepare better how you can lock in more in different ways and continue to just trust the process Parker Gabriel hey Jojo um even Depending, even if it's you're in a stretch where you you're playing well or, or not as well defensively this year, third down's been a struggle. Can you put your finger on anything that's that's led to that, or what do you make of that so far this season? Yeah, well, when it's third and short, I think the real problem's on first and second down. So we're not really getting them in third and longs. So that's probably the biggest issue right there, and um, just everything in between, just the details. Um, getting pass rush, staying in our pass rush lanes, covering down on defense, um, making it hard for them on first and second down to convert on third down. Sam McEwen. Hey, JoJo, the issues predate your arrival at Nebraska. Uh, but since Nebraska's joined the Big Ten, run defense has been hard for Nebraska, and, and statistically it continues to be hard. What, what's hard about defending the run in the Big Ten? What, what issues have you guys struggled with and what's hard about defending Iowa? I know that's three questions, but they all kind of connect. The Big Ten is a run first league. So we got, the, we got some of the biggest offensive linemen, biggest tight ends, big fullbacks, and talented running backs um, across the whole league. So um, you got to be sound in your run fits. You got to play more physical than them on defense. And you got to get them out of their, their game plan what they want to do to you, which is run the ball vertically down your throat. Um, we've struggled with the stretch in the past. Um, so it's just really just the whole run game, being able to being able to stop and adjust to anything that they're giving us that we're able to um, punch them back. So what is what what's tough about defending that stretch play? Iowa likes to run it um, and other teams do, too. What's tough about defending that play? You just got to be gap sound. You got to set a tight edge. Everyone's got to be in their interior gap. We got to have a, a guy on the backside. And then we also have to be able to stop the reverses and anything coming out on the back end. So it's just it's just being gap sound, being good at football and, and getting vertical and being more physical than them. Andrew Ward. Hey, Jojo, you guys have played a couple of Pretty close games against Iowa. Combined six points and two losses the last couple of years. Just what's kind of made that rivalry intensify, I guess, over the last couple of seasons? And then kind of a not so serious question as well. Do you have a favorite Thanksgiving food? Yeah, I love steak and mashed potatoes. Not a big turkey guy. I'm willing to try some new turkey, but I'm I'm a homegrown just steak mashed potato guy. And then just Iowa. I was a I was a big game just because they're. They're our border, you know, it's it's Nebraska versus Iowa. It's this Heroes game. There's a trophy. But at the end of the day, it's two football teams going at it, and one's going to end up on top, one's not. 
and uh, we really want to end up on top this year. We're doing everything in our power uh, to prepare uh, this week to be that team on top. Mitch Sherman. Hey, Jojo. Uh, hey, no in Iowa, like you probably do after having played them a few times, what do you expect from them Friday when you can imagine that they're sitting watching you guys in the situation you're in right now coming off of a tough loss? Like, how do you think that they are approaching this game? And what, do you, what, do you, what kind of mentality do you expect from them this week? Yeah, they're going to try to run it down our throats. They're going to try to out-physical us on, in all three phases of the game. They're going to try to punch us in the mouth and then keep us down. And we're going to be trying to do the same thing. So not being discouraged if they get us or if we get them, just staying level-headed and playing four quarters of, of good football. Steve Sipple. Hi, JoJo. Do, do you see the sort of physical run game during the week that you often do on Saturdays, the, the sort of run game you alluded to earlier? We are we are ramping it up. You know, it, it's tough to it's tough to bang in during the week when you know guys are banged up from the game on Saturday. It's you know, but uh, definitely this week more than in the past weeks. Like we're being as physical as humanly possible. We're throwing our bodies out on the line. We're preparing ourselves not only mentally but physically more than I think we have before, based off of how practice went today, and. We're doing everything in our power to set ourselves up for success on Friday. Thank you, Jojo. Last question for the, for Jojo, Evan Bland. Hey, Jojo, another Iowa question. I mean, what's what's the frustration level just within the locker? And you've been around the program as long as anybody uh, with this five game losing streak. And and maybe what's just one or two things in your experience uh, that you guys could do differently this Friday to maybe turn that outcome in your favor. We all want to win. We just want to win. And the fact that it's Iowa this week and that we're coming off a not so great game, um, like we, it just makes it that much, like the passion's gonna be there, the anticipation's gonna be there. Um, it, just, it does, it, it just mean, it's gonna make it that much sweeter when we come out on top on, on Friday because coming off a low week and then getting a dub is, is amazing, but then versus like a rival and a hero game, um, would mean a lot. So that's what we're striving for. That's what we're preparing ourselves for. And that's what we're hoping for.